Are you going to start? I thought you were going to. No, you start. Oh, I, I mean, you've done it for the last two days that we've been on the air. Okay. And I think that we've been, it's been a successful show. And so I think maybe we should just keep with what's working. That sounds good. Are we, are we rolling? Are we, are we on? Is this the show? Good morning! Oh, you scared the you know what out of me. Sorry. Well, Try that again. Softer? No, no, no. Just, I don't, it's not like me to tell you what to do or not how to all. act. Not at all. And it really doesn't matter because there's not that many people watching. Although, we have we've done a little uh, informal test, uh, inquiry amongst our guests, and we're now, our grand total is up to 20. Is that right? And you know when there's 20 people watching a channel at one time, an automatic sponsorship comes into effect. So I'm proud to say that today's show, at least today, while we have 20 viewers, is sponsored by the good folks at Stella Artois. Oh, Pariah. <laughs> Pariah, I mean, Pariah, you got to be happy about that. <laughs> Right in the morning. I told you not to make me smile <laughs> because the mustache doesn't stay on. What kind of prop man do we have? Anyway. Okay, so we've lost our sponsorship. <laughs> that is the first rule of sponsorship. Get to know who's actually sponsoring your show. I couldn't see. It was the back of the bottle, really. It was the problem. Mm. And I was trying. Yeah. I had every very good intention. It was good intention. while it lasted anyway. I mean, they're great in the morning <clears throat> as well, so they're it makes sense. All day long? Yeah. What happened to you? Oh, What's well, that? it just, <laughs> it just, it this is not, because okay. you know why, because I moustache you a question. Oh, <laughs> don't make me laugh, because that's, hap <laughs> that's what happens. Do you think it's sexy on me? You I like, do, you I like, dig it. You like, yeah. It's kind of a 70s vibe. It could be good for our, uh, our decades oh, night. Good so you're probably going to go to the 70s like that, 80s, right. the Don Johnson, Miami Vice jacket. I have a members only jacket for, Is that for right? the 80s party. What about the yeah. 90s? What are you going to get? 90s at? party. Uh, what was the 90s? Uh, mullets. Mullets. Yeah. Malays, yeah. as we call them. Speaking of mullets, we have a special guest here who is not coming on yet. Not that guest yet. We've got a lot of special guests, but there's an artist guest who's standing over there. You can pan over there if you'd like. The incredible, the incomparable Michael Linkton is there. And he's yeah. going <laughs> to be visiting with us. Michael had uh, a phenomenal show at the pool. I thought you were going to say phenomenal mullet. He had, well, actually, you did. He just said a phenomenal mullet. Uh, that's when, when Michael and I first met each other, which is about 25 years ago, both he and I had mm. um, oh. really, really horrible mullets. Beautiful mullets. Thankfully, that's not the case mm. anymore. I just have something else horrible growing on my, <laughs> growing on my head right now. It seems to be like... <laughs> I'm going to put this right here in case you need it. Yeah. Let's just see really quickly what it looks like on you. Do it, do it. Okay. Uh, why does it look so good on you? Ah. Everything looks good on you. See? It's like Magnum. Is Pedro? It, oh, no, what's it? Hello, what's Pedro. It? Like Magnum, <laughs> Magnum P.I. <laughs> Burt Reynolds. It's good actually morning. really quite good. Mm. Okay. Oh, That's yeah. enough of that. <laughs> All right, anyway, Michael will uh, be visiting with us shortly, and we'll talk about his gig, which was yesterday at the pool, and also about his forthcoming gig. He's going to be on stage uh, on night six, yep. sharing the stage with Peter White and um, the incredible Kenny Lattimore. That's going to be so much fun. And speaking of a day three, great music all around the ship. It was yeah. so awesome. Everywhere. And uh, the one thing that blew me away, I mean, it was great out by the pool, as you said, with Michael. Uh, Yesterday, and also Vincent Ingala as well, the Bye Bye Barbados Sail Away. That's not easy to say, is it? It is. Yeah, try it one more time. Bye Bye Barbados Sail Away. <laughs> <laughs> I've been practicing a lot. I'm not even going to try it. Bye Bye Barbados Sail Away <laughs> with Vincent Ingala and the UK Collective. Bye Bye. You don't have to say it so, like, you know, legit. It's just uh, Bye Bye if Barbados. If I think about it, I'm not going to get it. Bye Bye Barbados. <laughs> That's the way it sounds. But no, look, it was mouth. great. And, um, you know, the one thing I loved once again was the Peat Project in the centrum. I mean, I didn't know what was going on in there, but it was loud and it was happening. It was great. They've got some new fans, new American and uh, fans from all over the, the country, all over the world, actually, yeah. that are on this ship. But before we talk more about the music, I forgot to say how much fun. I, I loved being in Barbados, and I hope that you uh, had a great day. The, certainly the weather cooperated. It was a beautiful Absolutely. day. The oh, sun was shining. Yeah. You know, I was with some people. We were uh, on a boat. We had a great time. We went into the water. The water felt so good, and the water color yeah. It was it was amazing. Well, like, I'm colorblind, but I'm agreeing with it, you. It was, it was blue. Was, it was, was, just, was that right? Yeah, it was blue. 
Very, very beautiful blue, like a l different colors, uh, gradation of blue. R okay, got it. We, we jumped in the water a few times. We got to swim oh. with the turtles. We saw a shipwreck. We had some unbelievable Caribbean food. Very spicy, by the way. Did you eat? I did. I actually uh, was on the beach with, with your manager, funnily enough, Mark Gray. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just um, having a great day. A few beers, a few laughs, a few, few mates. Stella you know, Artois? A couple, yeah. Okay. Um, we were drinking some Peronis, that's where Mark actually struck the deal, but... <laughs> well, that deal is over. So. It is. <laughs> but look, I mean, they got their money's worth, didn't they? So... We got one free beer from that <laughs> deal. <laughs> it was a great day. It was. Perfect yeah, it was day. Fantastic. And very fun to, um, to be in our first port of call. And today we're going to be in St. Lucia. That's right. Which is an incredible island, steeped in history and... The, uh, the topography, I'm using a, uh, that's a college word right there, topography. Do you know what that? Well, I didn't go to college, so obviously not. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, I do like it. I do like the word. I'm just, is but there any, anything else you can? Topography, any? I think, actually, I'm not 100% sure. It just sounds good coming out of my mouth. But I believe that it's about the, the way the, the land is, you know, the. The landscape. The landscape, mm, yeah. That's a and high school it's got word. Those I went to high school, I'm using it. Uh, it's got the pitons, is that how you yes, say it? Yes, yeah, the pitons, yeah, <coughs> the that's two. right. And as you actually sail in and have a look at the topography, which is stunning. <laughs> See how easy that was? And I just the rolls Rolls up like yeah. ba ba Barbados. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, as we sail in and when we're in port, you'll be able to see them, and they, uh, they're incredible. And there, there aren't uh, there are as many beaches in St. Lucia as there were in Barbados, uh, as we said bye-bye, Barbados. But um, <laughs> the beaches in St. Lucia are incredible. You know, not as many, but they're fantastic. Well, it definitely, like days like yesterday and hopefully for today, um, when you talk about the ultimate Caribbean, this is mm. not just any Caribbean trip. No, that's this right. This is the ultimate Caribbean. And... Everybody, it seems like not just human beings, but it seems like everybody, even mammals and animals, want to be with us in the Caribbean. There's did you notice? Say, yeah. Did you notice? What I'm, you know where I'm going with this? No, I did. Well, funnily enough, I was looking at the topography while we were in Barbados yesterday uh -huh. and came across a stunning mammal who. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's really interesting because you don't find this mammal too often in, in warmer climates. You don't. Because uh, it's a lot of hair. Mm. And um, and usually they, they they stick around more colder climates. We saw yeah. a lot of them when we were last year, uh, 2014, in Alaska. Yeah. But I was not expecting on the beach to find a moose, and yet we did. And the moose happens to be with us. Why don't you come over here, moose? Yep, there. Lots of moose. fans. Back right up here. That's right. Come on over here, just for a sec. That's right. <laughs> The, mo the moose's appearance is brought to you by Peroni. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, no, you can't, you can't read. You can't read very well, I don't think. Not with those glasses. Uh, moose, I just want to say thank you very, very much for coming. I know you had a great, great time uh, with us in Alaska. What, uh, was it the warm weather uh, that you wanted to come for? Was it, was it Pete that you want? Was it? Oh, uh, he... He does love Pete. Was it, um, was it the great guests of the Dave Cos Cruise that you wanted to see again? <laughs> you were very, very attached to everybody who came in 2004. Not everybody? <laughs> <laughs> How did you feel? Michael Linkton was in, uh, was in the cruise in 2014. How do you feel about him? Yeah, I think. <laughs> well, we're very, very happy to have you back. I hope that you have a wonderful time, and I hope that your nose doesn't get burnt, and I don't see it happening because you've got zinc oxide on there. Enough zinc oxide on there for at least three weeks uh, in the Caribbean. Thank you very much for, for joining us. Some nice topography on his nose. Beautiful, beautiful. Give a round of applause. Get a moose. It's kind of a scary looking. Loose, really. He but is, I, but he's, he's out of his natural habitat as well. You've got to take that into That's account. Right. You know? He certainly is out yeah. of his natural you habitat. Come to the Caribbean, you're not going to be in <laughs> the fine form that you're in in Alaska, are you? <laughs> You've never been more right or on the money than right. your last statement. Uh, okay, anyway, those are our guests. We, uh, we visited with the moose. We will visit with uh, Michael Linkton. We are in St. Lucia. It's the ultimate Caribbean. And one thing I would like to acknowledge is my very dear friend Kathy, who is here. Who, Absolutely. before we started the show, told me that I was a lot shorter than you. 
and um, that I didn't. Which is true. I mean, she's observant. Like, it's sort of else. looking. I'm sitting here looking up at you, and just you know, that I'm kind of like just a wallpaper here. And she said, Please. "Can somebody get this this guy a, a, a cushion?" So I want to say to my dear friend Kathy, thank you very very much. Look at this. Check it out. Check this out. Come on. Huh? <laughs> Who's the man? <laughs> Who's the man now? <laughs> Woo! Woo! I like it. I like it. I say it both stays, the cushion oh. and the moustache. <laughs> the cushion stay, <laughs> for sure. Forever, by the way. I'm traveling with this cushion. Forever? Yeah, forever. Okay. Should we talk about, um, oh, I did want to say uh, about last night's show, Huge Groove. Yeah, absolutely. And Larry Graham. Oh. Phenomenal shows in the Coral Theater last but, night. But you knew it, you know, even before they came out, you knew it was going to be incredible, you know, didn't you? That, that's a one-two punch. That's yeah. a perfect night three. Funk. And then after those shows, we had some, <laughs> we had some great times. I'm a little embarrassed about what happened late night. <laughs> so some interesting events. Yeah, thankfully some of the, the late night events are not attended by, well, everybody. Mm. So there's some people uh, on this ship that are watching this show that didn't know what happened late, late last night. At, say, for example, the How Well Do You Know Your Spouse yeah. or the Tequila Bingo, which is probably a good thing. It's a good thing you don't know. Ask but somebody else to tell you. Because <laughs> I can't possibly talk about it. Can no, you talk it about wasn't, it? it was, look, it was, uh, it was different. Let's just say that. It was the photography wasn't... As I expected. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say that. It's your new favorite word. It is, it? yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to mix it in as much as I can. You know who was great, though? And I saw a little bit of her show was uh, Melanie Taylor. The Absolutely, road I'm yeah. On. No, well, I mean, Melanie's been great all week. She was great uh, night two as well with uh, Terry the Wolfman woman. And we... And we also had... Uh, that's, that's the moose. Yeah. We also had um, an amazing performance by Elon Trotman with the Caribbean Soul Guys. Oh, that was and, great, yeah. Um, Elon, I wasn't there because I was on the boat, but uh, I heard that Elon basically took over uh, the waterfront. Was it called the waterfront? But and It wasn't just Elon either. It was, you know, Peter White was there. The Pete Project was there. It was massive. There was, you know... Javier. Javier's uh, show in the Centrum yeah, that was last fantastic. night. Unbelievable. What a talent. That guy is crazy. There's so much amazing music that's happening on here and the, the funny thing and the most amazing thing and this is what I want to commend you on is that there are people everywhere there are people in every nook and cranny of the ship totally absorbed and totally enjoying the music and what's happening around so I just want to say thank you very very much for being such a wonderful and appreciative audience for all the musicians because we as musicians and, and the people who put this whole thing on we appreciate it this is not, music is nothing if it's if it's yeah, not appreciated I mean, by people in the no moment. I mean I, I often say it, the enthusiasm from our guests is it's absolutely incredible you know it's just non-stop and uh, it makes the week for us so enjoyable doesn't it where, where else would you rather be it's the best maybe we'll do another uh, off-site at, at some point this week yeah maybe you know we'll could just get some musicians at some place and just have a spontaneous it sounds jam. good not the moose is it, is it? the moose needs to stay on the ship <laughs> <laughs> All right, speaking of guests, let's have a, a, a special guest right now. Let's uh, do it. Join us. Uh, he is a world-class saxophone uh, player. He is one of my very best friends. He is an incredible human being as well, and one of the nicest people you will ever meet and caring people. And every time that, that uh, I say, let's do this, or can you do this, the answer is always yes. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the show, Mr. Michael Linkton. Yeah. Woo! All right. Hey, good to see you, mate. How's things? Trouble? Sit down right here. Hey, Come right over here. Oh, yeah. You're in the hot seat. I'm going to okay. use the mic here so everybody can you hear you. Mine? No, this is good. Oh, we sh we're sharing? Yeah. We're Just like this. So, um, good morning. How are you? I'm doing great. So I have to say thank you very much for your show by the pool yesterday. That was awesome. Thank you. But you thank were you. hot, right? Yeah, it was It was pretty hot, but it was, it was, it was fun. Had mm -hmm. a great time. Wonderful. Yeah. How are you enjoying yeah. the cruise so far? It's amazing. Yeah. I love it. What's your been? What, well, if I had to put you on the spot and say which artist so far that's played uh, that you like the most? You know what I really enjoyed? I enjoyed that the Sax Academy. Yeah. To have all these amazing sax players next to you, and then hearing all these sounds from all these people that you have been listening to for all these years, amazing. Yeah. It was incredible. I think that was one of my favorite moments. And I have to commend Pat Prescott who came up a with a, a, an amazing idea, which was to. Uh, celebrate the life and, and sound of Kirk Whalen, who we all admire so much. It kind of turned into, this is your life. It 
Yeah, and I think he was. Yeah. He said, I remember him saying, is, "Does somebody know something about me that I don't know? <laughs> is this it for me?" Because we were all just talking about how much we we love him and appreciate what he's done. Yeah. But he is one of those guys that um, that we all look up to and uh, have learned so much yeah. from. Yeah, it's a great. What, thing. what about you? What, what was your favorite thing so far? I've had so many great memories. I think from for me, um, because I write these emails before the the. Uh, cruise starts and they're they're rather long and I, I apologize for them being so long but there's a lot of information to get out but I'm convinced that nobody even though we have a full ship that's a sold out ship I'm convinced that people see emails from me and <laughs> delete delete <laughs> delete <laughs> and so I'm never I'm never sure whether anybody's actually reading this information that we, we disseminate to our guests but they do. well that's what I found out two nights ago on all white night when 98% of the ship was in all white. That was incredible. That was a good looking ship. Yeah. Right? I'll yeah. tell you what, it was, a, it was a crazy ship as well. That was a big night. It was a big no, night. I'm still a little Epic. tender from that yeah. night. Yeah. Little, little yeah, tender? It was. Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah. The topography was great. Oh, beautiful topography. Nice. That night. Very much yeah. so. Well, uh, what are you looking forward to most? I know we're, we're all looking forward to your shows, shows uh, on night six. Right. What do you have mm. planned for us? Can you share? Well, Kenny and I are doing a show together, and uh, we've been doing a few shows um, around the country and uh, have a lot of fun together doing this show. So we're going to keep it a little bit as a surprise. We have a very interesting opener, by the way. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we're playing tribute to to somebody that we really admire. And um, is the moose not the moose. Yeah. No. <laughs> so the, the moose is your opener. I don't want to give it, I don't want to give it away, but it's something very unique that we worked up for this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, we talked about uh, uh, celebrating Kirk Whalem. Right. There was a lot of love on this ship for Kenny Lattimore as well. Right. Uh, he came and did uh, a song with Rick and I in, in my show the other night. By the way, terrific show. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, really great yeah, show. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for coming to it. Um, but he is just this one of these guys that is so uh, effortlessly talented. Right. And when he walks on stage, he just it, he lights it up. He, I don't even think he knows what he's doing, even though I'm sure he has and he, uh, yeah. studied and made it made sure that he's totally in the, in that moment uh, yeah. prepared. But Amazing. it looks so effortless with him. Tell me a, a little bit about your relationship with him and well, why you like working <clears throat> with him. Well. Um, we met because he um, he sang a song on uh, my my current album Soul Appeal, and we were introduced uh, by Barry Eastman, and um, and we did a song on my album, and we just had a really special sort of visit and synergy right out of the gate, mm -hmm. and then we decided we needed to do some shows together, and we had a show in Las Vegas, the first show we ever did together, and we both left the stage going, wait, what just happened? You know, it was one was of those moment. moments. Yeah, yeah, it was like, and um, I said, we got, we have to do more of this. So we have been doing this, and we, I, I know it's, I, I say this, you know, along, you meet people, and some of these people you meet, just there's just an unspoken, there's organic energy and synergy happening, and you know, these people are going to be sticking around for a long time, and for me, Kenny was one of those people. He just always have a good time, but. There's such a mutual admiration and love what he does, and and you know it's it's a beautiful thing when somebody comes in and and whether it's him uh, singing with me or me playing with him, but you know that he's got it, he's got right. it, and he takes charge, and you can just step back and right. and watch it all happening right there. And for uh, me, it it he we we have a great time. Yeah. So Rick Braun and I were on on the road with uh, with Kenny for a whole summer last summer, and uh, on the um, Kenny would sing a few songs by, by himself where we weren't on the stage with him at all. And there were a, a few moments there where, where Rick and I were sitting backstage and the women were just going crazy, right. Pete. I mean, they were losing their minds. Yeah, I can see it. Well, I Kenny. have seen it before. <clears throat> and I, I would come out on stage kind of a little, you know, ticked off. <laughs> and I, because he does, <clears throat> excuse me, he, he does this move. Uh, which you probably see on, Very on sexy. Yeah. Very And I would come out there and, and do the exact move. Nothing. <laughs> I mean nothing. Crickets is what uh, what I heard. Uh, so he's got a special magnetism, yeah. specifically yeah, with the female yeah. race. Anyway, very much looking forward to it and very much looking forward to you. You have a new album that's uh, in the can, not yep. yet out. You want to tell us a little bit about Next it? Next month, yeah. And uh, I I'm really excited about this one. 
because you know I, I kind of started a thing with with my current album Soul Appeal where we did this um, Memphis sort of King Curtis Sam Cooke and Wilson Pickett kind of sound and um, um, this new album I just finished it's coming out next month we took it another step further and um, still did it with my buddy Barry Eastman but we went to Memphis and recorded we put a band together there half of the Al Green's band and half of Stax, the remaining members of the Stax oh, wow. section, recorded at Royal Studios in Memphis with Booker T and the Memphis Horns. And then we went to New York and recorded with the Dab Kings. And then we, you know, we went to back to LA and recorded with Brian Culbertson who played trombone and we had Taylor Dane sing a song. Oh, and yeah. And it, it, it just, it, I'm just, Super, super excited because <laughs> I can see it on your you know, face. No, I, I really am because it's so authentic, you know. And yeah. again, it was it was really challenging writing these. We're trying to write these original songs that was like it was written in the '60s, but it's really hard to do, yeah. you know. And and I we wrote almost 40 songs again, and then we went and recorded with these amazing old school musicians, and and really made it happen right then. What's so the name of it? It's called Second Nature. Second Nature, yeah. and it's coming out next month. Yeah, okay. April April 5th. Well, nobody plays the alto saxophone like you. Thank You're you. one of the most incredible musicians that Thank ever you. picked up that horn. And I'm a huge fan. Of course, you know, we've been great friends for a long time. That's so what do you think about it? You like I, it? I, I've loved Michael for a long time. And I will say that uh, my mum and my auntie, who were in here last night, the biggest Linktoes fans on the ship, hands down. <laughs> So Link-to- now we know. Link-to- 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 yeah. Link-to- no, but we were talking about this on, on the morning show the oh. other day that he has another name for everybody. So I was oh, going to just Link-to- ask you what's Michael LinkedIn's name, Link-to- and now we know. Linkto. Yeah, Linkto. Yeah, Linkto. Linkto. I'll, I'll tell you right now, for my mum and auntie, Linkto's is there, Kenny Lattimore. Uh-huh. Oh. Yeah. And you can quote him on that. Okay, I'll yeah. do that. How about it? Yeah. Yeah. For Michael yeah. Link. Yeah. Give it up for Linkto. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> same, right? you know, it doesn't sound it doesn't sound the same in uh oh my gosh this is big what are you doing up you <laughs> cat in the hat you should come over here real quickly come over here that's right well is he coming over here okay yeah. this, was a... this is a big star we've got another star sighting Hi. right Hi. here Good to see you. Hey, this is javier colon hi I'm just, I'm just here for the topography. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't we all? Aren't we all? Hey, buddy. If I, if I get stopped... I'm ha- holding my mic here for you so I everybody can hear. Uh, if I get stopped in the hallway or in some common area on this ship by one more person who says, thanks for bringing Javier, I am going to go crazy. You have a lot of new fans. I mean, you always have a lot of fans, right? Because everybody knows you. I'm but you have some serious new fans on this ship. And I have you to thank for that. So you thank are, you for, for making that, that happen. I've, I've been having such a great, great time just meeting everybody and just everybody's so happy. Like you just make people happy. Like they come here and they love yeah. their yeah. lives. Yeah. You know, yeah. this week, it's so true. That this week that they're here with you, like they just are just ecstatic, you know, ecstatic to be alive. And, and I, I love being a, a part of, of that and getting to see that, how, you know, what you are doing for these people is great. Javier, you want to do something really nice for somebody right now? Sure. Okay. You're a little worried, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know the yeah. woman who is always around me uh, on the ship? Her name is Mary Gruber. Mary Gruber. Or Groobs, yes. as we like to Groobs. call her. That's, that's her nickname. Yes. Groobs. Groobs is a serious psycho fan of yours. Of mine? And Aww. she is so crazy about you. Every time she sees you, every time you like walk by or something or you're in the same room, she like, now by the way, she's got a boyfriend and she's got kids and the whole thing, so it's not gonna happen. And you're very married <laughs> and you've got three kids, yes, so it's yes. just not gonna happen. But right. I know for a fact that I would get major points and she's got a very tough job. I mean, she's gotta be attached to my hip for seven days straight. Right. Could you imagine something right. like that? Right. The woman is a saint, yes. she's a goddess. It's it sounds like the Christmas tour when we're yeah. seven days, well, it's we're like 26, 20, 30 days straight that we're yeah. together. But she's, yeah, no, that's. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> talking about our Christmas tour when we're like, like we're like in the trenches together doing shows yeah. and it's awesome. Sorry, yeah. but she's, no, it's very different. Would you, if I brought Mary mm-hmm. up in here, would, <clears throat> yeah. would you just give her a, a nice warm hug? Would, yeah. would you do that? Of course. Okay, Mayor? Absolutely. Come on. Group. Groups. 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 
Here's yeah, Mary. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, should we, we need to stand to do this, right? Make sure that we, oh, oh, make sure oh, that we get that on, uh, on camera. <laughs> That's right, this is Mary Gruber, <laughs> Javier Colon. You are so very welcome, how are you? Thank you so much. Could you do, just do one more, just one, one more. more real quick one? Okay. Just a little, linger it. Linger, linger. Yes, <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> we love our groups. All right, that was very nice. Thank you so much. Thank you. That just bought me an extra day. <laughs> Thank you, Gruber. Uh, anyway, so how was how's the trip so far? You having a great time? Awesome. It's it's just awesome. It's great. I'm those people that I was talking about. That you're making happy. I'm one of those people. Okay. So it's 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 been it's been great. Because you you're making a, a lot of people happy. Absolutely. Well, I I, uh, I am very glad to hear that. I'm just happy that that folks are. Are liking what we're doing, and, and again, thank you for letting me open your show. That was huge. It got me in front of a, a you know, in front of a lot of folks here, and, and you know, I, I just, uh, I feel blessed. I'm just honored to to be a part of it. Your show last night in the Centrum, where you did the Gravity yeah. release oh, party. Yeah, yeah, I think that was unbelievable. Thank you. Congratulations on thank that you. one. Thank that you. That was a hot show. I, I enjoyed uh, enjoyed having that opportunity to get to uh, play some of the new songs for everybody and and, um, and yeah just have just have fun and, and that Centrum sounds so so good. I've been listening to it like, you know this entire time. Like every you know every time you walk by, you're like who is that? And you you know it's just it's, it's a great spot. It's it's uh, it was an honor to play it. Have your your album uh, Gravity comes yes. out next month also. Wait, was it next month or in April? It comes out April 15th. April 15th. <clears throat> it's, it's available for pre-order uh, right now um, on iTunes and on Amazon, as well as uh, on my website. You can um, pre-order a, uh, a signed copy from, from me. You know the title track, Gravity, I was talking about this with Groobs. Mm. Um, the title track is one of those songs, when you hear it, the first time you hear it, you go, mm. I love that song. It's kind of like an immediate hook. You, it hooks you into it. And then the second time you hear it, you go, oh my God, I love that song. <laughs> and then the third time you hear it, you go, that's a hit song. It just has that quality of, it really just is so, yeah. Thank you. you, well, you connect from to your that mouth song. to God's ears. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> you know, hopefully that, that happens. And, and you know, I'm, I'm just I'm glad that, that folks are liking it so far. And you know, my job now is to try to get as many ears on it as possible and just try to, you know, you know, disseminate it out to the public and see what happens. I think we have one sale right here. Do we? Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Pre-order. Oh, it's still downloading, as you mentioned. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Sorry about Not at all. Not at all. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Javier Colon. Thanks, Thank you. Love you, brother. Thank you. So cool Thanks, that Javier is yeah, on yeah, absolutely. this cruise. And by the way, should I, I can't, can I talk about what happened in your life just recently, over the last several months? Well, about your, you know. Oh, yeah, sure. Absolutely. Can I? Yeah, of course. Javier, well, how, what's the number now? Uh, 72. Javier, over the last maybe six months, not even. Six or seven months, yeah. lost 72 pounds. Wow. 72 pounds. Jeez. Woo! Isn't that incredible? He just got a handshake from well, the, the cameraman. cameraman. <laughs> I know, I know. I so I impressed him. Yeah. That's, that's good, boy. He's not shaking anybody's hands on this whole morning show. <laughs> it's amazing. No, I mean, it's, it's, it's truly, uh, truly amazing because when I saw him in, um, in September or October, I forget when it was, that we went to South Africa. We spent a couple weeks together, and it was awesome. And, um, and then I saw him when he, uh, he got off the plane in San Juan, and I was like, Where, what did you do with the rest of Javier? It was really remarkable. Yeah, it looks, looks fantastic. Have you got a new for Javier? I don't. You must. JC. JC. That's it? JC, DK. Not Javi? Well, depending on how many drinks I've had, I mean, you probably get to that point. But JC, on initial contact, JC. JC. Okay, well, you got to go with your first instinct. Yeah. But speaking of beverages, uh, did I tell you that this uh, morning show is sponsored by Stella Artois? <laughs> there, there is our is. sponsorship right there. Still is it still Peroni? Yeah, Peroni. Mm. <laughs> oh, there's a Stella. There it is. <laughs> Get out of there. Let's talk about today. Uh, we've got a very exciting day. 
uh, coming up when you get back uh, from your wonderful day in St. Lucia. And by the way, we hope you have a fantastic day. There's so many things to do. You've been to St. Lucia about 230 times, No, right? a few times, yeah. It's, uh, no, it is a great place, as I mentioned before. Not as many beaches, but beautiful beaches. And uh, look, I mean, that's one thing I love about the Caribbean, you know, seeing the world through music together as we do. We've been to all these great places. And, you know, we, we go to <coughs> Europe and we see these amazing you know, places that are, are so very old and have such history about them. But what I love about the Ultimate Caribbean is we've got the music and we've got total relaxation. Right. You know? and, and that's one thing I absolutely love about this cruise. I'm having such a great time. So. And, and it was so funny today because I, when I got back on the ship and I went in the elevator and I saw everybody, everybody was you know, talking about how they had the sunscreen and still everybody had that flush thing that, the, <laughs> that they just came back from the beach and no matter if you had, you know, SPF 600, you still had that red little thing that was going on that can only happen here in the Caribbean. Yeah, it's, that's it's right. so It makes everybody look so healthy. You look better than I've ever seen. Is that right? Yeah. Gee, that's a big call. I mean, I've looked good before. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> now you've never looked better. I mean, you got those good glasses on that Pat gave that's as well. Right. So. These are very But no, good. mate, thanks. I appreciate that. Yes, no problem. Um, uh, when you come back on board from St. Lucia, we've got a, a, a cornucopia of activities for you. And it starts up uh, at the pool deck with the musical tailgate party hosted by none other than Philadelphia Eagles mega fan Rick Braun. Now, he has not had a great year with his beloved That's birds. That's right, he hasn't had a good decade. But, <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> take Rick up there and see what he has to say. So I am, I'm actually an Eagles fan as well, funnily enough. Yeah, yes. my, my wife's from Philadelphia, so. She, she was a cheerleader She first. was, yeah, she yeah. was. Um, you lucky Well, dog, mate, you. you know, hey, you, my gift is my curse. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> but... Um, Yes, yeah, so anyway, Rick and I will be singing the Eagle song a few times up there. It is an event I'm looking forward to, um, but we do have some, uh, some great things to wear as well, you and me. That's right. Well, we have so. our Giants, uh, San Francisco Giants. I'm a huge Giants fan, um, and so we, we have our, our special jerseys. Yeah. And I, I'm hoping that if you read your emails, you know that there was a, a musical tailgate party, and you don't have to be a sports fan to come up there. Right. It's cool. You can just be a fan of music and a fan of, uh, of sun and, and pool. Yeah. A uh, fan of pool. That doesn't make sense, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Rick Braun, you know. Yeah. You and a fan of Rick Braun. Yeah. There you go. He will be uh, holding court at the pool deck uh, with the UK Collective. And then at 4 o'clock, very excited about this. Yeah, tell us a little <laughs> bit about uh, the banana chocolate chip bread recipe. Well, my sister is on board. My sister, Roberta Cos Wilson, and she is a phenomenal baker. She's a professional baker. She has her own cookie company that she started in uh, memory of my mom, Audrey. Yep. Uh, my mom, Audrey, is here in the back of your book. A uh, guiding spirit. She is our guiding spirit. I'll just show you a real quick picture of her. This is my mom, Audrey. That she passed away about 10 years ago. She was a wonderful, uh, very giving lady. And um, she, if she were here, she would probably know every, na every person's name on this ship. And she would go and visit you in, in your cabin and bring you a knish or something. She was the, the epitome of like a classic Jewish mother. She just, uh, she equated food with love. So she was always trying to feed you and get you fat. <laughs> and uh, she was a wonderful person. So my, my sister started, uh, my mom made these wonderful chocolate chip cookies. And my sister, um, uh, when my mom passed, decided to carry on that tradition. And now those cookies are available in um, Whole Foods and other markets across the country. And, um, but my, one of my favorite things that my sister makes uh, that is uniquely hers is her her uh, banana chocolate chip bread and she wanted to make this special because we're in the caribbean and it felt kind of caribbean so she's going to do that with the ship's chef and also um uh scott howard from spaghettini right. she's going to be doing a little cooking are class. you going to be down there of course i'm going to be down fantastic. there. fantastic now i'm looking forward to it so and centrum yeah centrum at four o'clock four o'clock samples will be served and she'll talk about her cookies as well and it'll be a fun event yeah that's great and then we have uh, the one-on-one -on -one with professor kirk this is going to be a great event hosted by pat prescott taking place in the hollywood odyssey all the way up the top if it's um hopefully been steam cleaned after just us guys <laughs> oh gosh but uh, yeah 4 30 up in the hollywood odyssey for uh one-on-one -on -one with kirk whalem five o'clock in the schooner bar we are going to be presenting spaghettini beverly hills at sea as many of you know, and I know that many of you have visited our restaurant in uh, Beverly Hills, uh, the proprietors, Carrie Hardwick and Laurie Cisneros, and our partners, we're all going to be there with our chef, our executive chef, Scott Howard. We're going to do musical 
and uh, edible pairings. I'm talking about music, the connection between music and food. And joining okay, us uh, yeah. will be our guys that uh, are there on every Tuesday night. Uh, Justin Hopkins and Dylan Chambers and Chris Yagich. They'll be there providing some musical entertainment. And, uh, Those Chef guys Scott, have been great, too. Haven't they been great? Yeah, they really have. Really, really, Excellent really great. performances. So that's at 5 o'clock in the Schooner Bar. And then at also at 5 o'clock, back up at the pool, we've got the Funk Soul Brothers Jam hosted by uh, Larry Graham. Larry Graham is going to be uh, holding court at the pool and having a little funk review. That's going to yeah. be a whole lot of fun. A sip with Savalas. Well, gentlemen, it's going to be uh, the delicatessen up there. Take a number and get in line for a sip with Savalas. <laughs> she's been once again incredible this week, hasn't she? She's a she is a real entertainer. She's a riot. Yeah, she is a riot. She's, she's fun and so talented. Absolutely. So yeah. that will be a fun. Five thing. p.m. in the Champagne Bar, and then uh, a woman needs love. This is, I guess, the unofficial kickoff to our ladies' night. That's right. We decided to do a ladies' night on night four and feature our two wonderful headline female talent on the stage the same night. And that is the incredible Keiko Matsui and Mindy Abair doing their headline shows in the Coral Theater tonight. Um, but since we had him on, on the ship, uh, we, we figured why not kick off Ladies Night? And that's gonna be our theme running through the whole evening yep. with a guy who basically is um, a true ladies man and women love him. In fact, he wrote that song, A Woman Needs Love, Mr. Ray Parker Jr., the legendary Ray Parker Jr. That's right. And he will be in the centrum along with Arthur Thompson, the wonderful percussionist, uh, doing some love songs to set the mood, to set the tone for ladies night. And that guy knows how to set a tone. Doesn't he? Yeah. He sets a tone in the casino as well. He does, way. yeah, and we're, I think we're still <laughs> trying to find his money that he's taken from us. Anyway, uh, Keiko Matsui and Mindy Abair, 6.30 for our guests with silver sea passes, and then 9.30 with gold for our guests with gold sea passes tomorrow night. Great tonight. music uh, happening around the ship uh, in the early evening. Nestor Torres has another show in the Schooner Bar. Ash Jenga, who is the guitar player in Caribbean Soul, has a show in Peter White's Pub. The Pete Project take to the Centrum again. John Stoddart, yeah, who is this. such a talent. You can't even imagine how talented this guy is, both on keyboards and singing. He has his show, uh, solo show that happens at 8.30 in the Schooner Bar. That is a show that, if you can, uh, please check out. You, you don't want to miss him. He's so, so talented. And then we have our after DK After Dark theme, yep. continuing Ladies' Night into our pajama party. Right. That's right. right. Is that yeah. what's happening? It is. That's exactly right. We kick it off with uh, Cameron's Casino. Luck be a lady tonight. Ray Parker Jr. is probably going to be in there winning some more money. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, join Cameron Smith in there from 10 o'clock. And then our collaboration series, which has been great this week. It you know, really has. You and Michael kicked it off, and then we had uh, Terry the Wolfman Woman and Woof. Melanie Taylor. <laughs> right. And, uh, and also... Vincent the, the Tagala Vincent and, 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 and Jonathan, Jonathan Fritzo. Fritzo. Yeah. Fritzo. Fritzo. Yeah, Linkto. Linkto. I wonder if Linkto and Fritzo can ever get together. No? Uh, not really. Probably not. Oh, you never know. No. You never know. <laughs> Collaborations uh, tonight features Spencer Day and Ariana Savalas, and we talked about both of them here on the, on the show, but they are doing a show together tonight, and it is called The Most Famous Vocal Duets Ever, carrying on uh, our Ladies' Night theme. Yep. So they're going to be singing some very romantic duets together in the Schooner Bar. That's happening at 10.30 p.m. And also, you want to talk about romance. So. It is going to be happening tonight big time in the Safari Club the Anatomy of a Love Song with Kenny Lattimore and Javier Colon. Hav, are you still here? I'm here. What do you got planned? You got a big, big show planned? Yeah, we got, we got some, some great, great songs. You know, come over here. Come, yeah, on, come on in. Come on in. <laughs> Javier's back. I'm back. I'm back. Um, yeah, we've got, we've got some, we've got some great. First of all, can I just talk about Kenny for a second? Yeah. He's awesome. Yeah. Such a, a great human being. I love him. He's amazing. Um, and his voice, my goodness, is yeah. silly. Um, but so yeah, we have a great a great night planned tomorrow. Um, he, I don't want to give away the songs and stuff because that's like it's a it's that's a no no. Yeah, we, we Fair can't, enough. can't do that. But he's gonna he's gonna hit him with some 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 R and B stuff. I'm gonna hit hit you with some some R and B stuff and some like a little bit of everything. 
there might be some James Taylor involved. That's all I have to say. You know what the cool okay. thing is, though? What's oh, that? it's James Taylor. Yeah, oh, that's JT. fantastic. Yeah, baby. Who I know is a huge influence mm -hmm. for you. But the coolest thing for me, I don't think that you you knew Kenny Lattimore before this cruise. We, Did had, you? we had not met. I knew of him, and you know, we kind of ran in some of the same circles at some point when you know when I was doing more R&B stuff, you know, back in, in the day. But we had never had a chance to meet. And that's one of the things that I'm most proud of about this cruise. There's so many things that I feel so great mm -hmm. about, but but people who should be knowing each other, who haven't for whatever reason met or collaborated together, and I have a feeling that you and and Kenny will be attached to the hip. That's my moving. dude, man. Yeah. He's awesome. He's great. Well, we're really looking forward to seeing what you guys do. Yeah, we're gonna have fun. Special for the ladies, right? Just oh, for, yes. Ladies night. Imagine the amount of ladies that are gonna be there. Ladies night, and they are. This is ladies night. Oh, what a night. Oh, what a okay, night. Now oh, there we go. That's, there we that's go. not appropriate. What? Yeah, it's okay. That no, was good. It's yeah. good. Am I a chance of so, sitting in tomorrow? Don't ever do it again. Do you think that <laughs> he's not going to win the no, voice please. anytime soon, is he? <laughs> <laughs> How about it for Javier Colon? Okay, Tonight, right. ladies' night. You do not want to miss him. And Kenny Lattimore. That was really cool. He's very, very My good. My bit or? No, not your bit. But you know who will be at that show? The groups. The groups will be there. Yeah, she will be oh, there for sure. Will she? What, what time does that start? That's 11 o'clock. 11, so groups will be there about 7. Yeah, I'd she's say. a huge fan. Uh, there's a pajama party, and I've gotten a lot of requests uh, to, to do this over the last year and a half since our last cruise. Are you going to bring the pajama party back? The answer is yes, it is tonight. Q and Hefner? Is, uh, Q Hefner will be hosting that in the Viking Crown. And so uh, put on your PJs and go up and have a great time. Peter White is going to... Uh, uh, celebrate the ladies in his namesake pub tonight at 11 o'clock. Peter White, ladies, I will play any song you want. So go in with your request, armed with your song of choice, and um, I bet you he's going to know it and play it just for you. That's also part of Ladies Night. Tracy Carter and Friends, this is a big show. We've been talking about this uh, for months now. Tracy Carter is one of our talent. main stage keyboardists, but also a phenomenal singer, producer, arranger. He can do it all, and he is going to be pulling out all the stops, and that's happening in the Centrum at 11.30 p.m. after uh, the Ladies Night main stage show, and you do not want to miss that show. That's going to be hot, and I think that Biscuit's going to be singing with some other special surprise guests. And this one, uh, the one to finish the night, is going to be interesting. I don't know if any of us have any idea of what it is, but the hot tub time machine party. <laughs> well, we'll just have to show up and find out together, right? <laughs> that's exactly right. The topography of hot tubs is really quite nice. And you, that's especially why, in the solarium. That's why we wanted to do it. That's right. That's All happening right. at midnight. Now, we should we do a couple, uh, tell us what you're celebrating? Well, I just thought just quickly, if we have the time, I'd like to bring in one final guest to uh, have a chat about one of our big events of the <gasps> week. Is that okay? That's absolutely perfect. And right I, I just general. came up with a, a good idea while he's here. Go ahead, introduce Ladies him. and gentlemen, please welcome to Caribbean Sunrise, none other than Ronnie Goots. Ronnie Goots! Goody Ellis! <laughs> hey, mate. <laughs> Goots. How are you, buddy? Uh, wonderful. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Oh, no, uh, you know it's morning. That's very yes. good. It's That's nice to see you still in your pajamas, uh, Goots. I am. I haven't... Uh, <laughs> First of all, pajamas on. listen, I want to say uh, thank you. We want to say thank you Absolutely. for um, all that effort. you do for the cruise, uh, not only on the main stage, playing percussion and, and adding so much energy and life to the stage and the performances in the Choral Theater, but uh, what you did at Drum Circle the other day was unbelievable. Uh, but what I'm so proud of you for is how you just take control of that So You Think You Can Jam passenger talent search, and you have just... Ex exceeded everybody's uh, expectations and how to handle that. And we got some serious talent, don't wow. we? Yes, well, thank you for that. That's, I, that's amazing. It's unbelievable to see that the people pour their hearts out. They want to feel like they're a part of it, and they are the biggest part of it. Absolutely. I had no idea that I would be able to experience that. And thank you for that opportunity, and thank you. Ah, cool I just have fun. to say one powerful thing, if I can. It's It's... The people behind the scenes, all the help, all the production people, are what really holds this whole thing together. They're amazing. The crew, they I've never been vibed. There's just love, true love, and it comes from the top. It trickles down from the top. And, and thank you, Scott Pedersen and Mark. You guys are great. And you guys are just uh, wonderful. To I just love showing up for you. And I know the people feel that. They feel that. I, I feel that when I 
took this little role on that's become big. And we have some awesome people from Italy, from LA, from Canada, just all over the globe. And it's just so great. So great. So we're going to find out. There's already been two rounds, yes, right? Are two, we down to ten? We are down to six. It was six. supposed to be five, but uh, we squeezed in an extra. Okay. So it's And you're feeling helpful. very confident. Uh, Any of these six could be wonderful winners, right? Yes, because I know it's basically the people that decide. It's not so much the judges support it. We have great judges, by the way. But it's the people that feel that magic, that that yeah. magic truly one of the judges actually happens to be in the room at this very moment who is my agent mm -hmm. and he's been my agent for 25 years uh, and he's here right now you can uh, you can pan the camera over to him no it's not Sorry. not the moose the moose is not my agent but his name is Jim Gosnell and there he is of the agency of the performing arts president and CEO sitting next to Kathy, who, who came up with the pillow idea, and oh. for that I'm forever grateful. And they're wonderful people. And Jim will be one of our, uh, our uh, celebrity guest judges, yes. along with Ariana Savalas, Pat Prescott, and I will be sitting in with that uh, yes. uh, event as well. And uh, we're really looking forward to that. When is that? That's on day five? I, I think, is it day I, six? I'm, I think it's day, day six. six. Day six. If yeah. I can say this, Jim, I, I love Jim. Every year I get a, just a brief moment to hang with him. I always try to reach out to him after each cruise, but there's layers and layers of filters <laughs> that prevents that. But he, his stories, 60 Minutes should do a piece on him. Just the <laughs> beginning, his first story about his first project was Rick James. And the opening act was this young guy, small guy named Prince. Oh my God, and that's just the beginning. And he loves you so much. He loves you the so much. feeling is mutual. I, I dig Jim. I'm hoping that maybe he'll take me for a ride in one of his fancy cars sometimes. There's, there's a few layers to go through to get in there. <laughs> yeah. let's, let's, let's take it easy, all right? I, I, you know what, mate? <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie, can you stick around? We're going to do, just stay right here. Okay. We're going to do a few of these. Tell us what you're celebrating. And what I was thinking about was since you're here and you can keep us uh, entertained, ah. maybe just use your percussionist that okay. doesn't need a percussion okay. instrument to keep a little time. You can use the sign, you can use the mustache, the, 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 do whatever you want. We're gonna just, we're gonna just uh, read a few of these right now uh, while you do that. So you need okay. A little background thing. Yeah. Be beautiful. Okay. Thanks, mate. Okay. First up, we have Yvette Woods celebrating her birthday today in St. Lucia. Happy birthday to you, Yvette. She's celebrating with her friend, Roslyn. Your turn. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was like really into that. Diane Coleman uh, is uh, celebrating with Olivia Hodgebeth, and uh, they are celebrating 61 years of friendship 59 years of traveling together. Unbelievable. So congratulations to you guys. Yvonne Gruski is a good friend of mine. She is celebrating with Gloria O'Toole and Leslie Lawrence. Their reunion since first meeting on the Alaskan cruise in uh, 2011. Thank you very much, Yvonne. We have Lena Wilkins celebrating the big 5-0. Congratulations to you, Lena. And also, we've got another big one here as well, the seventh anniversary of sailing with Dave Coz and friends, and a big thank you to Dave. Wow, that's so, awesome. What else you got? We have uh, Vicky Blazy, I think it is, celebrating with Linda Price, her birthday today. Happy birthday to you. And then, uh, let's see, Jacqueline Johnson Brown. Uh, who's celebrating with Gloria Atisogbui, I think, uh, uh, celebrating Gloria's 69th birthday, which is, uh, I believe that is today, February 24th. So congratulations and happy birthday, Gloria. Another Feb 24th birthday is Sonia Cooper. So have a great day in St. Lucia, Sonia. Enjoy yourself. Happy birthday to you. And Ursula Woodland is celebrating with Marjorie Proctor, Nyla Davis, and Manet Davis. And uh, they are celebrating, well, I guess it is Ursula that's celebrating her 50th birthday as well. Congratulations. Happy birthday. And we have Sandy Robinson celebrating her retirement and her 70th birthday today in St. Lucia. It's going to be a great day for her. Janice Turner celebrating with Sybil, Carol and Liz her birthday. And we have, back to a vet there. Finally, we have Julie Santa Maria. Celebrating her birthday as well. And that is all. <laughs> oh, tell us what you're celebrating. 
What did you choose to do today, folks? Seven great one. Ronnie, outstanding. Thank you, Ronnie. Thank you to all our guests, and thank you for watching, all 20 of you. We really appreciate it. And have a great day in St. Lucia. We love you. See you back on the ship. <laughs> uh, what a treat. <laughs>